certain style that I specialize in but I can help a student with another another genre that they specialize in it's almost like I'm kind of living through them vicariously vocally so I enjoy that um, I think that you know the fact that it spans all genres is awesome and um, there's no limits really when you have that you can work with any student and any style and still get results and the results that that student wants to get and um, so I think that's so what do you find is the most um, important part of the technique for you? I think for me, um, the most important, important part of the technique is to really meet the students where they are and work with them to get them to where they want to be. I think sometimes vocal teachers, um, of course outside of Sing Like a Star, tend to just kind of impose on the student just kind of what they think their vision is and that it can lead to frustration because if the student isn't getting it, there's frustration on both ends. But I think when you meet them where they are and can work with them and kind of get them to where they want to be, they feel the progress, they see the progress. Um, and I think that's important. I think that in any business, you want to tailor what to tell yourself to what the customer needs. I think when you kind of go in and saying, you know, trying to say this is what I have for you, buy this from me, or offer, you know, you offer them, you know, span of offerings, I think is more effective if you come in and you ask them where they want to be, where they want to go, and you kind of take them along the way from there. I think that's what makes the technique here effective, and I think that's what makes um, working with the students effective, kind of meet with them where they are, and then take them to where they want to be. Awesome. Um, what kind of changes did you see in your own voice from when you started to to where you are now. Um, I was able to sing, I mean, maybe I'm a poster child for Sing Like a Star, but <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I was real. I literally was able to sing stronger, longer. I literally was, and not lose my voice. And um, I just recently had a concert a couple days ago. I'm not hoarse, I don't feel hoarse, I don't feel, you know, I, I knew I needed to take vocal rest days, but like I'm not like you know exhausted or fatigued vocally at all. In fact, I could probably do another concert. But 
it was a foundation I got from Sing Like a Star, just how to pace yourself, how to navigate your bridges, how to apply the vocal techniques so that even when I'm doing some of my own personal singing, I'm not exhausted. And so I, that same technique is sticking with me. Um, and it's, it's great that, you know, we, we're required to continue our own personal vocal lessons with Trisha because it'll keep us sharp as teachers and it'll also keep us sharp individually, vocally, and that way we can always relate to the student wherever they are. There's never this gap of, um, you know, where your teacher can't relate to you or, you know, you're kind of saying, trying to teach them things and, and techniques of things that you've never done or never. It's very, it's much more effective when you've been kind of through that same process and you can relate to them better, so. What advice would you give to an incoming student or a new student, person shopping for voice schools or voice teachers? Um, somebody shopping for voice teachers. Well, let's say, let, what advice would you give someone who's looking for a good teacher and a good vocal technique in general? What, what should they look for? I would say look for someone who listens because you have to, there has to be a time of listening and observing for you to, to be able to see that they understand and really get you. I think there is a place for wanting to get results fast and there is a place for that, but I think before you can do that, you kind of have to know what your roadmap is going to be. And I think it comes with listening. Um, Again, it's easy to just kind of, you know, take people through your opinions or kind of made up, you know, paths or things that you've seen work for other people. But you have to kind of be able to say that, you know, this person's voice is different. And as someone looking for a vocal uh, coach, that's kind of something you need to be able to discern. Is this teacher, is this program, is this uh, studio, is this company really after my development? or are they after kind of what they want to teach me? And there's a difference. Um, so that's something that you kind of have to discern. And um, with everything, I love it that we have our consultation sessions where you can kind of, you know, try each other out, so to speak. And there is that time for you to observe, okay, what are my lessons going to be like if I continue here? And um, I think that's, a, that's a, a good thing to do is to have a, consultation sessions so that you can kind of tell, okay, get a feel for what my sessions will be. Are they going to be listening to me or are they going to just be having me go through just random exercises and, you know, not really, you know, tuning to what I personally need. So I would say definitely get um, a vocal coach that listens. Cool. And and where do we have that experience? You said in the getting to know you, we, we, we yes. have that sort of we have that experience there where the first thing, I mean, one of the first things, actually, the, I think that's the, the whole consultation is yeah. us listening to you. Right. We're listening to your needs. We're listening to where you want to be. We're listening to your goals. We're listening to um, your experiences. We're taking all of that into consideration, factoring all of that in. Um, when then we, and then we listen to your voice. We listen to, you know, you doing scales. So we're really listening through the whole thing. And then at the end, after we've listened, then we kind of tell you, based on our program, where you would kind of fit and how we would work with you to get you to where you, we, where you want to be. And I think you can't really assess that until you do listen. And then I love it because our eight-step uh, program, our eight-step vocal development program, um, you can listen and then you can fit in any of those eight steps and then from there we can work with you. So whether you are a beginner who's never sung before and maybe this is something you're interested in, we can take you from there. You might be an experienced singer who's had years of experience. Maybe you want to try a different genre, a different style. We can work with you at any level that you're on. Great. We'll talk, just talk a little bit about the, the eight steps and what they are and how they work. Um, so the eight steps, um, another thing I love, is that there is a curriculum, there is training. It's established, it's organized, it's an actual process, it's not random. Um, one thing builds upon another. Um, our first step is going to be our foundation of breathing, um, which is the foundation for good singing. Our next step is going to be, the next couple of steps we're going to be looking at your lower register and your upper register and developing, we want to develop you in all eight steps. So 
you may come in where you may be stronger in one step than another, and that's fine. We're going to strengthen you in all steps. So no matter where you feel weak in, don't worry about it because we, we want you to be a, an all-around good singer. We have, there are singers out there that are kind of strong in one thing, and then you can tell they're kind of weak in another thing, but they may do some things to cover it up. We don't want you to have to cover up anything. We want you to be strong and confident in every step. And then our fourth step is um, we call our isolator step, where we kind of um, strengthen you in your lower register and your, your upper register. And then our next step is our mix, which is one of the biggest steps we try to get all of our students to. And that's connecting your lower and uh, upper registers. And when you can get you there, you're really well on your way. I mean, you're well on your way no matter what step you come in on, but um, that's the step that we try to get singers to. Um, and then from there, you have your, what we kind of call your advanced, um, more advanced steps. However, you can touch each, you know, part of each step. Um, there is, even though we call it advanced, you still can have access to some of the techniques on each step. No matter where and you start. No matter where you start. Mm -hmm. And our sixth step is, <laughs> oh, the sixth step is, it's not riffs, it's um, staccato and advanced vibrato. Ah, oh, staccato and advanced, our sixth step, which is staccato and advanced vibrato. Um, you know, as, as again, even though we say it's advanced, there's still aspects of it that, on any level, that you can begin to learn. And that's, I think, another great thing about it. We do give you a step-by-step -step program, but you're always going to feel like you're making progress. And even though there, our last step is our eighth step, which is riffs and kind of more stylistic things. And even though it may be an advanced level, it doesn't mean that you can never try it. It doesn't mean that you can never um, touch anything on that level. It's maybe advanced, but it's not exclusive. Like, it's not like, oh, you cannot come this level until you have mastered everything. We do what we call a spiral learning concept where we kind of touch each step as we go and we just you know touch it stronger and stronger as we go to each level and so you're always making progress you're just kind of touching the same concepts but you're doing it at a higher level each time and so you may get to your eighth step but you've already are familiar with a lot of the concepts there because we touched it even when you were on steps two and three so i love it that's you know the eight step program is an all-around program that will develop you all around and you feel that way by the time you get to your eighth step you know you will have already you know been familiar with so much of it so by then you'll be singing like a star <laughs> that's great okay oh. <laughs>